Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome to the second part of five part series all about uh, the blueprinted bases. Those are prefabricated bases which are uh, made by developers. Uh, there are 25 bases. So in this episode we're gonna go from 6 to 11. Basically um, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 bases on the list. And yeah, this way I am trying to help you to decide what which base to build basically. And let's start with base number six. So base number six in this series is ALB Velebit. This is a big luxury base. Uh, looks great as you can see. It has one, two, three floors. And yeah, it looks beautiful. It has two turrets, so it could have more, but you can always add more if you need to. This is how it looks like from the outside. And now let's check what's inside. All right, this is the base from the outside. This is from a player's perspective. And yeah, as you can see, it's quite tall uh, base. It has uh, an entrance for your vessel. And when you approach your base, the ramp automatically comes down and you can come inside. As soon as you uh, come inside, you can climb these, th these thirds and right there you have one cargo box you have one cargo box right here O2 ammo container controller one here armor locker stairs which are going upstairs this area right here which will uh, get there in a minute when you go straight you have your hydroponics area, which has like four times uh, nine plots where you can plant your plants. Five fridges, food processor. This is how it looks like from here. That's where we entered this building. When you come here, there's your back entrance, or it can be your front entrance, depends how you organize your base in your environment. Again, O2, armor locker, yeah, controllers, and this is where we came from, all right? We do have an elevator right here, but I'm going to take the stairs. Take a look from here. A lot of space, you can park your vessel, you can redesign this if you want to, like with every base. And yeah, you can upgrade that. Another cargo box. As you can see, more cargo boxes and more cargo boxes. Fuel tanks. O2 tank. As you can see up here, more cargo boxes. Here too, food processor, more fridges. This is your advanced constructor. This is the first base. Until now, with Advanced Constructor. This is how it looks like over there. This is the elevator. We could have used the elevator too. Armor. Health station, medic station. Your clone chamber. And you have your leisure area, should I say. Your bed. All right. It's a beautiful base. It's a big base. I, I don't know how sturdy it is, what kind of materials they uh, used. Uh, to z these are all containers to design this space, but yeah, it looks wonderful. All right. What do we have here? It's just like a balcony with another large constructor. This one is large, it's not advanced. And yeah, more stairs. Okay, let's go up here. Your bathroom. More stairs. <laughs> this is where you enter. This is your... Uh, landing area your hangar or however you want 
repair bay, however you want to call it. Large generator. Deco. It's a beautiful base. Stop. You can change your LEDs. Let's go even higher. And this is your leisure area again. It's a beautiful big base. And you also have a big windows for a wonderful view. If you, if you have great environment around you, you can just go and like stop and enjoy the environment. These are the stats. On this side, you can see all the materials you need to make this base. And how much time it takes. ALB Velebit. All right, the next one, as you can see, is Farpoint Base. It's amazing base. This is the base I owe right now. Really, really good, versatile base. It has two hangar doors, four turrets, solar panels, as you can see from the outside. Yeah, landing area right here. It doesn't look luxury. It's not anything, I don't know spectacular from the outside it looks nice though but what i like is versatility and interior so let's check out what's inside all right so let's head inside when you enter the base from this side you have armor locker bunch of cargo boxes top and bottom top and bottom which you can check right here these are all the cargo boxes you have, fridge in, fridge out, and yeah, it's great. Fridges in and out, uh, in and out are right here. Your food processor, O2 tanks. Behind is your uh, large constructor. And in my base, I have played advanced constructor right here, so there's enough space for that. On this side, O2 tank. Fuel tank, more cargo boxes, O2, ammo box, some space for improving your base. Look at this area. It's quite a big area. It has two big hangar doors. Great uh, Farpoint logo right there. You can play something else right here if you want to. You can change it as every other base. Right. So this is O2 station. Clone chamber. Beautiful base. On this side, you have 10 plots. And here you have 10 plots. 20 plots for uh, placing your plants, for planting your plants. Lights on for plants, this side. And lever for this side. Very versatile, a lot of space. Generators are right there. As you can see, there are also some capacitors installed over there. There's your wireless, uh, wireless connection right here. Yeah, great base. The elevator, which goes up. And this is your landing area right here. You have mini gun turrets, but you can place more around here if you want to. And of course, you can always expand this base. It's a beautiful base. These are the specs. And from what you can see on this side, resource and time, it doesn't take long uh, uh, to make the space and it doesn't take too much ingredients. So all this is very affordable for a base like this so base number seven bar point base number eight hanging gardens this is very interesting looking base it looks like a tree this is your landing area it has solar panels as you can see 
landing area right here or area for turrets actually more solar panels so before we go inside i just want to show you one thing as you can see the stairs are here like hanging in the air that's because this area right here should be uh sinked in the ground and this should be your zero ground this is supposed to be in uh, the ground all right so we are on the stairs which are going up, 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 and up. I'm not too thrilled about how much it looks very interesting, but I think that a lot of space is basically wasted for climbing and for for the looks. All right, so let's go in this first area. These are your cargo boxes, your hydroponics area. This is where you should place your plots. O2 tanks, cargo boxes, for this part. Let's keep going. Let's go to the second floor. I mean, the view is great. I like the balcony thing. I have always jumped down. <laughs> All right, let's go. And you can see how much space is actually wasted on climbing and like balconies and this stairs area so this is your uh, landing area your solar panels let's go inside two fridges probably ins and outs so let's quickly check this out these are your cargo boxes and you can see the list of all your cargo boxes ammo box and everything food processor Large constructor, cargo box, fan. Yeah, that that's it. That's basically it. Let's let's keep going. You can come up and place your tours right here. But when we talk about base the base. Yeah. That's it. Alright, these are the specs. And as you can see right here, it doesn't take long to make the space and it doesn't require a lot of materials. All right, this was Hanging Gardens. All right, the base number nine is Argent Spire. I would call this a marvel of construction in this game. It looks beautiful. Look at this. It has three turrets. It looks amazing. It has front entrance, back entrance. Very, very beautiful. All right, this is the size from the player's perspective. Okay, let's go inside. When you go inside, you have this big, great landing area which, where you can land with your ship. Right ahead is your ATM machine, where you can, you know, deposit your money or whatever you want. This is the back entrance, or it could be your front entrance, depends, uh, depends again on how are you going to place your ba base. Alright. This is where we entered, so let's go this way. And as you can see here, there's a, an elevator which goes up straight ahead. Is your hydroponics area, kitchen area, your t dining table, your food processor. This is basically like a kitchen with two fridges. All right, kitchen counter. Beautiful. You have one large constructor. Oh, two large constructors. I thought that one is advanced. Some flowers. And... Come on. And from this side... You come in here or you can get inside from here. Beautiful. Let's go upstairs. Great looking base. 
This is another hydroponics area. You can place some more stuff around here, but it would be shame. It looks like it's such a nice dedicated part. This is the elevator. You can come out here. You can sit and watch your plants growing. Your O2, uh, your O2 tank. This is your medical area. As you can see, you have all these medical devices for healing yourself. Medic station, O2 station, armor locker. Great looking base. All right, here we have some computers. Some deco elements, fuel tanks. Another door which goes to the elevator. And you can come on this side. Where's your office? I'm not going to take a seat. Yeah, look at this. I, I cannot describe you how great this looks to me. To me personally, it's it's maybe uh, the best base yet, at least in my opinion. All right, there's even more. Let's go one more floor up. Again, some leisure relaxing area and this is where I can come out. This is where the turret is. In the distance you can see all the bases I have placed for you. Ready for another video. And this is more like... It's not more like this is decorational part. I don't know how good this base is for a, like battle and fighting. It's such a shame if you invest your materials and whatnot to make this great looking base and then some enemies come and destroy your base these are the specs and here you can see it takes two hours and nine minutes to make this base these are materials that you need and that was base number nine argent spire and the last base in this series, base number 10, is Basil. This is one of the cheaper uh, starting bases. This is how it looks from uh, the outside. It's... I would say it's a very interesting shape. It has two turrets for, for players. Those are not automatic turrets. You must have players uh, uh, right there operating them. Alright, that's how it looks from the outside. So let's hop inside. All right, this is uh, the base size relative to uh, player. And as you can see there, this is Argent Spire base. Quite the big one. Let's go inside. When you go inside, basically everything is right here. So you have two basic constructors, small constructors. You have your clone chamber for spawning, O2 station, your food processor, your fridge. This is what you have. It's basic, basic base to keep you safe, to keep you inside. This is the area where you can place uh, your growing plots. It's This is where they're predicted to be placed, but of course you can always change this. You have your small O2 tank in this corner, your ammo box right here. And that's all there is to this base. All right, these are the specs. And as you can see here, it doesn't take a long time. So total production time is only 15, 14 minutes and 12 seconds. And these are all the materials you must have in order to build this uh, base, which you can gather quite quickly. So right at the start, you can get this base. And this was the Basil base, the last one in this episode. Part 2 out of 5.
there are, as I already said in my previous episode, if you didn't check out that one, go back and check that one out. There are 25 bases in total uh, made bar developers, which you can hit right here. I placed them all around this area. This is part two. And yeah, we have covered 10 bases until now. Really hope that uh, this helps you to decide which base to build. And yeah, if you like this video, please drop a like. And yeah, consider subscribing and ring the bell if you want to be notified when I publish my other videos. That was all for the part two. I'll see you in the part three. And bye bye.